in the ESC prelims exam are repeated from the PYQ. So PYQ is very important. Please dedicate two hours daily for the general studies. Work on the time management because the time management, I told you the speed and accuracy both is required. So work on the time management. In the last month, that is the four months, now try to attempt the four to five full length mock tests per week. It will help you to improve that time management and the exam strategy. Work on the case work. So hello everyone. Welcome to the gate wala. I am Ajay Gupta, the ex IS officer. I work in the Indian Railway as an IS officer. So in the today lecture, I will tell you about the four month roadmap for the ESC prelims exams. So my dear student, as you all know that the gate examination is now over. Now, what is the next target? What should be your next target? I met two type of student after the gate exam. The one type of student who have done very well in the gate exam and they might hoping for to get the very good rank or score in the gate exams. And now they are hoping to target the next high level exam and that might be the ESC exams. The another type of student who have not done very well in the gate exam exam due to there might be the several reasons for that now they are looking for some alternating exam and this exam may be the ESC exams so as you all know the four month is still left for the ESC pre exams so i will tell you some guidelines some strategy that you may follow so that you can easily get through the ESC pre exams so this is the four month roadmap for the ESC pre exams. As you all know, the ESC prelims exams is having the two paper, the paper one and the paper two. Paper one and paper two. Paper one belongs to the general studies and the paper two is a technical paper. The GS paper is having the 200 marks and the paper 2 is a 300 marks. So the total marks of the prelims exam is a 500 marks. Now the paper 1 is also a qualifying exam. If you are not qualified in the paper 1, then your paper 2 will not be <coughs> checked. So at least you have to qualify the paper one. So let's discuss the first month strategy. In the first month in strategy, your objective is to cover the 60% of the syllabus because you was already preparing for the gate exam. So no need to view the complete video lecture again. Just read through the short notes and try to solve as much as PL, PYQ as you can do. So prioritize the high weightage subject as per the UPSC trend. As you all know, in every branch, we have a two type of subject. One is the core subject and second is a non-core subject. The core subject is little bit tougher than the non-core subject. So what you can do, you study two subject in parallel. One is a heavy subject, that means the core subject and one is a Non core subject. So try to study two subjects in parallel. Follow the standard book, coaching notes, and the PYQ. The PYQ is very important because, as you can see, that approximately 50 to 60 percent question in the ESC prelims exam are repeated from the PYQ. So PYQ is very important. So try to cover at least 25 year of PYQ and we already have the PYQ book of the gate wala, which is covering the 26 year of the ESC prelims exams paper. <clears throat> Make the formula sheet for the every subject and the short notes for the revision. You have already made the short notes for the gate exams. Just try to revise the short notes by writing some theoretical concept. So here in the ESC prelims exam, please add some theoretical concept in your short notes. 
solve solve topic wise previous year question b by q immediately after studying what you have to do just re revise the short notes for one topic and try to solve the p by q from that topic that may that should be your strategy for the technical paper that means the for paper number 2 now what is for the paper number 1 again for the paper number 1 try to cover the 60% syllabus in the one month because you all know that the good begin is the half done and always dedicate 2 hours daily for the general studies paper because it is covering the lots of uh, topic like aptitudes ethics environment project management ict and the current affairs some of topic of general studies you are already aware but some topic of the general studies may be very new one so it will take some time to create interest in the that topic try to solve objective type topic daily for the accuracy improvement because in the esc exam you need the accuracy as well as the speed the both is required to clear the esc prelims exams now come to the strategy part of the month number 2 here try to complete the remaining syllabus approximately 90 try to complete the 90% of syllabus in the second month solve 50 to 100 mcq daily from the different topic try to solve 50 to 100 mcq daily to check your speed as well as the accuracy pro focus on the numerical type of question attempt topic wise test for the accuracy improvement the accuracy and speed both is required so try to attempt the topic wise test that will enhance your speed as well as the accuracy now come to the general studies paper revise the previously studies topic solve the daily quiz for the current affairs and the technical general studies work out on the logical reasoning and the engineering aptitude problem these are the topic like the logical reasoning and the engineering aptitude in which most of the engineering student are very good so try to get as much marks as you can get from these topics now in the second month increase the mock test frequency to two per week at least give the two mock test per week in the second month analyze the mistake what is the main motive of the mock test that you have to analyze where you are committing the mistake analyzing the mistake and try to improve the weaker topic try to improve the topic in which you are not performing well in the mock examination now i come to the third month strategy for the technical paper now complete the complete syllabus in the three month at the end of three month you should try to complete the complete 100% syllabus for every subject revise your formula sheet and the short notes daily focus on the weak area when you are appearing in the mock exam or even you are doing the pyq try to focus on the weak area and the high weightage topic in the escp ec exam the core exam the, the core subject is having more weightage as compared to the non core subject so give more attention to the core subject solve full length subject wise test now in the three month try to solve the full length subject wise test now what is for the general studies attempt the full length now start attempting the full length general studies paper work on the time management because the time management i told you the speed and accuracy both is required so work on the time management try to complete try to complete the 
total equation in the given time. Revise the important current affairs and the standard definition that is very important for the general studies paper. Now, in the third month itself, attempt three full length tests weekly for the general studies paper. And you should try to simulate the exam condition, solve, try to solve the question paper within the two hour slot. Work on the eliminating the silly mistake, try to eliminate the silly mistake. It will require the practice, the more practice you will do the less silly mistake you will commit in the exams. Now, what may be the strategy for the four month? Now, in the four month, try to maximize the accuracy and minimize the mistake. That is, that should be the objective in the fourth month. No new topic, only revision is required. Now, do not try any new topic in the four month, only do the revision. Revise the self-made notes, formula seats and the high weightage area. Now in the fourth month, try to solve the random mix question from the different subject. Focus both on the speed as well as in the accuracy because the both speed and the accuracy are key to success. Now, in the last month, that is the fourth month, now try to attempt the four to five full length mock test per week. It will help you to improve the time management and the exam strategy. Work on the guesswork. In the objective questions, the guesswork is also required. So try to work on the guesswork to eliminate the option elimination trick. Now, what should be the final 10 days strategy? Revise your short notes in the formula in the last. 10 days, avoid new material, no new material is required now because it will lead to the confusion. Attempt two final mock test and focus on the exam mindset. So this is all about what you can do in the remaining four months so that you can get the success in the ESE pre-exam. That is all from my side. Thank you everyone.